Hello, and welcome to History Pod. On the 21st of November 1877, American inventor Thomas Edison announced his phonograph, the world's first practical machine that could record and play sound using a cylinder. Although Frenchman Charles Croix presented plans for a sound recording and reproduction machine called a paleophone earlier that year, his machine was never actually built. Edison made the first demonstration of his phonograph eight days after he announced it, on the 29th of November, and he patented it the following February. Within two decades, it had spawned an entire industry built around the recording, distribution and sale of sound recordings. Edison's original phonograph was developed as a result of experiments that aimed to record telegraph messages. He had worked with diaphragms during his work developing the carbon microphone for telephones, and so he was aware that if you could inscribe the movements of the diaphragm, you could effectively record sound. His first recording medium was a grooved cylinder that he covered with tin foil. As the cylinder rotated, an arm attached to a diaphragm would make an indentation of the movement into the tin foil. The arm moved up and down the cylinder, embossing the recording, and then by adjusting the machine, the arm could be used to play back the recorded sound through a horn. The first machine was hand-cranked, but it worked well enough to impress everyone who heard it. Within six months, he had demonstrated it to scientists and representatives of the government in Washington, D.C. Although heralded as a genius by the Washington Post, Edison did very little with his invention for the first few years. Within less than a decade, however, other inventors developed engraved wax cylinders and, later, flat discs to record sound. From that point on, the music industry was born. <laughs>